I've just had one of like the most productive mornings I've had in a long time. Like what I've done is, I, uh, I got up relatively early, got up like half six, and instead of, like, what I normally do is I immediately get on my phone, I check all like the DMs and messages and comments and all that, and reply to everyone. This time, I left my phone like in the charger, went downstairs, it went my laptop, got so much work done because I didn't have the distraction on my phone and I wasn't tempted to use my phone either because it was still upstairs. Got all my split tests on, all my like me, me uh, marketing campaigns for like the next week are all planned in, so it's all sorted and stuff like that. Just feels good to tick off like a lot of boxes first thing in the morning. So now that's all done, I've got a meeting with Kevin uh, about that videography project that I was talking about in the last video, was it? Or like two videos ago, something like that. Uh, while we're there, because we're just going to like meet up, while we're there we're going to take some photos for Instagram as well and what I do is, because people ask me like, do you go on photo shoots every day or you know, even like when, when I used to post a lot of fitness content, you used to ask me the same thing, like are you in the gym every day? No, we don't do it that way, we batch produce stuff like this, so if we uh, go for a meeting or we're meeting up, then we take like about 20, 30 photos and that will last us for the entire month. So that way we've got a lot of photos for this month and like obviously you do stuff the rest of the month anyway so you get a few little random pics here and there but most of my photos are batch produced just to make things easier for myself to automate like that process. So the rest of the month I've got like 30 photos to choose from and I can post every single day without like stressing out like that I haven't got photos or stuff like that. Then what I do is, my, most of my captions as well are automated, so uh, one day a week, mostly for me it's Monday morning, I write out all my captions for uh, my fitness, like my main Instagram account, my private Instagram account, uh, brand Panay Instagram account, and also for like uh, stuff on Facebook and stuff like that, so everything is automated, everything is batched, produced, just pumped it all out in one go and then it's done then and you can like sort of relax for the rest of the week, all you need to do is post it. Feeling smart today in the formal attire. <laughs> And so I believe the great way to be great at anything is to be a practitioner. Um, you know, it's kind of, people ask me all the time, uh, I make the analogy, you know, you can read about push-ups, but if you want the results that push-ups give you, you have to do the push-ups. Absolutely agree with Gary V there. I was just watching a little video, waiting until Kevin comes, he's going to pick me up. But, like, ever since I actually started doing the work, instead of just reading about the study and doing courses and stuff like that, I've gotten so much further, I've made so many more moves just because I'm executing instead of just thinking about or pondering about it, you know, stuff like that. So, call to action, or if you get anything out of this video today, execute, execute. So that was the meeting with Kevin done and I was supposed to have one more meeting today but that has moved to next Monday so now I've got two hours to spare so what are we going to do with two spare hours? Exactly, we're going to the gym. I'm the motherfucking man mama I guess that was his plan mama That nigga wasn't playing mama Now I'm the motherfucking man mama I'm the motherfucking man mama I guess that was his plan mama That nigga wasn't playing mama Big dreams, you fucking with a big team. About to shake the world up. No budget for the flow. My tongue ain't priceless. I could probably watch a girl up. Who wanna be a millionaire? So you know I'm buzzing in when I'm in the chair. Now I'm family to everyone. But I remember when them niggas wasn't even there. Cause I remember in the kitchen. I remember. My mama said, listen. I remember. Listen. Now change gonna come for us. Cause God got a plan for you. Now I'm the motherfucking man, mama. Woo! Motherfucking man, mama. I guess that was his plan, mama. That nigga wasn't playing, mama. Now, I'm what keeps bringing you? I've had too many. This Virginia done me up already. I know what you're thinking. Oh, he wears glasses, though. Yeah, I know, but I'm blind as a bat without them. And to be honest, I need lenses, but like when I put my lenses in, I get to the air and then. Like the last two millimeters, I just automatically shut my eyes. I just I can't cope with lenses. It just takes too long to put them in, so leave the lenses. I'm wearing my glasses. Um, the meeting that I'm gonna have on Monday, like the the people from that meeting, they've got like a sort of kick off event uh, today, tonight in Amsterdam, and they've like invited me to just tag along. You know, to come along, meet the rest of the team, the rest of the squad, maybe take some pics or videos or anything like that. 
uh, just to get to know them like better really and like, in a bit more of an informal way I understand that everything sounds a bit secretive because I keep saying like, a client and I never really use like client names or anything like that but like it's, it's a sort of unwritten rule to not mention your client I like, did the name of the client in your videos or anything like that because that is like the easiest way for a client to get posted is by uh, like telling people that you manage their social media also not every client wants it to be known that they outsource social media some clients do like uh, people to think that they do it like in-house or like you have like uh, the own social media department uh, but anyway so that's where we're going to now i'll vlog a little bit but you'll be in fitness is actually there as well so we'll meet up with him and i'll just like take you guys along with me just documenting the most of the year you know just trying to show you guys like how i'm like getting clients or how i'm managing like social media and stuff like that Gotta do what I gotta do.